Hello, my name is Hilmar Weber Pietersson. I am the CEO of CCP. So, Dust. Uh, Dust uh, is our uh, first person shooter for consoles and something that we've been working on now for the past three years. One of the more interesting things about it is that it is connected to EVE Online, the uh, PC Muscle Multiplayer Online game. So when you're fighting in dust, you really are determining the outcome of uh, territorial control in EVE Online. You're basically fighting over dominance for the planets that currently are in EVE. Because it's fighting on the planets of EVE, then it's a part of that universe. So uh, all the players will effectively be playing in the same universe, even though like you're down on a planet and the other ones are up in space. So all the effects which are caused in dust will cause effects in EVE and vice versa. So it is one shared persistent universe. The idea is a little bit to capture the people that are interested in the EVE Online universe and the EVE Online idea. Uh, but don't necessarily uh, want to play the, the PC animal, which is uh, we rather would want to add that different experience into the mix rather than change the PC animal because there's a lot of people that love playing that. Well, there are 50,000 planets in EVE and uh, not all of them are inhabitable. Some of them are large gas giants and you wouldn't really be able to walk there if you were a human. So uh, obviously we're uh, most of the fighting takes place on planets which have sort of normal gravity to them and, 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 uh, and that. And that's a certain number of planets, then there are a certain number of planets in the IP which are not inhabited, some are inhabited. So when you are fighting over something that's obviously something that's populated and have some infrastructure. So that is something we're now currently sort of tuning inside the EVE Online universe, what planets uh, have those parameters and where you can fight on them. And that's something that we'll be re releasing next year in EVE. So uh, we don't really have concrete maps of, of, of where you will be able to fight, but uh, that's something we will be able to see sort of as EVE upgrades uh, its sort of planets and uh, other celestial objects throughout next year. We're mainly focused on uh, our social networking website called Cosmos. So uh, both EVE players and Dust players will be able to uh, sort of interact together through Cosmos. Uh, I don't think there makes a lot of sense for them to be interacting in real time while you are fighting on the planet and flying in space. But there's certainly going to be a lot of communications involving planning and preparation and, and sort of the, the political spectrum of EVE. But uh, we see that more and more moving over to Cosmos, our social networking website, and that is our basic strategy to facilitate communications between the two camps. I can tell you it's going to be more than 16 and less than 265. Uh, we have a quite ambitious uh, vision for how we will uh, sort of explain just to the player base at Fabris. Maybe.